Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a dining room refresh, transformation, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to say room, space, whatever. I live in a very small apartment, so it's just one wall where we have our dining table. I would say my style has evolved a lot over the years, and I thought it would be fun to kind of take a trip down memory lane and go through my camera roll and see kind of all the different varying stages of my dining space because it has evolved quite a bit over the years. I'll show you kind of where I started off in this video and then we'll go through the process and all the little updates that I have done um, to get it to where it is now. Okay, so the first photo that I could find in my camera roll was uh, February 2019. And this just shows you the basic space just have a shelf on the wall, one of those picture ledge shelves from Ikea, and I had a couple decor items on there, our tulip table from Ikea. I found these dining chairs um, from Goodwill. Just your basic apartment setup, table and chairs against a wall. And then I was like, you know what? I don't want that shelf anymore. So I took the shelf down and I threw up some pictures or some artwork that I had done. And I also found a rug off of Etsy, which was not intended to go in the dining area, but that's where it ended up. So it is a small rug, I am aware. It's only four by six, so it doesn't actually fit under the rug perfectly. But you know, I'm always thinking future home someday and investing in pieces. So in my mind, this is more of like an entry room or an entry rug for when you first come in the house. But anyways, for now it's under the dining table. And I think that really did add a lot to the space because of course covering up that brown shag is always on my mind. So threw that down and I put up some photos and I even had a little sconce there and that didn't last very long. I wasn't in love with it. So then my mom gave me a beautiful 18th century mirror and I threw that up on the wall and I actually did a makeover on this mirror. So if you're interested, um, I'll link the video here for you to go check that out. Um, but yeah, that kind of really transformed the space, in my opinion. I loved, like, the natural light that it was reflecting off the mirror. I think it was just more of the direction I was wanting to go. After I put the mirror up, I used to have, again, an Ikea bench that was in front of our fireplace for the longest time. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to throw it behind the dining table and see what that looks like. So I put the bench behind the table against the wall and I threw up a bunch of pillows. I really loved the way that the bench looked behind the table, it really grounded the space. It gave me a place to put all my pillows and it also added some additional seating, which was great. So that's kind of where we're at now. And since that time, I have done a plaster DIY project on the Ikea table. You can look, um, I can also link that video here for you if you're interested. Um, so the next sort of dilemma that I'm trying to solve is we got an espresso machine for Christmas and we absolutely love it. It's massive though. <laughs> and, um, just to reiterate how small everything is, it doesn't really fit on the kitchen counters. It literally would take up like valuable real estate in the kitchen. So... I needed to add a coffee bar area. I wanted to put that just off to the side of the kitchen and add some floating shelves. So that's kind of what this video is going to show you the process of me making the coffee bar and um, just giving a little refresh to the dining space. And I think it turned out great, so I'm excited to show you the process. First order of business to get this transformation started is to switch out the dining chairs. And you've seen the ones I had and I sold those on Facebook Marketplace and I used that money to buy some new chairs. I found some new ones. They're a ladder back style chair uh, with rush seats. They're really adorable, really cute. I love the way that they look. So I'll um, show you me picking those up here. Hey, hello, checking in from the car. I'm heading, oops, sorry. I'm heading down right now to go pick up some new dining chairs that I found on Craigslist and the listing is for six chairs and I only need four. So I'm um, planning to buy them all and then sell the two that I don't need and hopefully turn a profit. So that'll be interesting as well to also get them in the car but I emptied it out so that we'll have to do. If not, we'll just, I don't know, strap them 
strap them to the ceiling or whatever the roof and maybe I can put some in the front seat with me <laughs> but yeah I'll check back in once I've secured the goods and yeah I'm excited okay so I secured secured the goods I got them all tetris in James was very nice thank you James love the chairs and um, yeah it was a success it was a win so now I'm on my way home and that is my next adventure is to get them inside all by myself they're not heavy just gonna be a few trips up and down the stairs enough and I like them um, for the time being so we're gonna keep them they are definitely in the style that I'm going for next I wanted to make the coffee bar so I found a little cabinet off of Facebook marketplace it's really red and orange as you can see um, it needs to be painted so I am trying out a new color for me which is kind of like a slate blue I'm not really a color person uh, but you know why not experiment a little bit why not push the boundaries of your own style and so I decided to paint it I'll show you the whole process of um, priming painting all that stuff so we can watch the DIY project here After I finished painting the cabinet, it was time to move on to making some floating shelves. So I just got some wood and some brackets from Home Depot and I was debating between one and two shelves. And I posted a poll on Instagram and you guys helped me out. So if you want to be involved in any of my makeovers or anything, go follow me on Instagram at Steph Youngren and you can be a part of the uh, process. I put up two shelves, I painted them the same color as the kitchen cabinets. And I also painted the brackets so they're as um, disguised as possible. And um, now we're gonna go ahead and style them.
lastly, I wanted to just do some final touches here and I'm adding some candle sconces on either side of the mirror. I found these really cute ones from World Market. Um, I'll link them below if you're interested. I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap those and hang those up on the wall and then it'll be time to reveal the final space. So that's it for the final touches and without further ado, I'm just going to reveal the dining room here. That's it for my dining room transformation. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below what your favorite part of the transformation was. And um, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.